it's been a minute. I'm at home, so you may hear some noise, but it's okay. I wanted to talk about pitch decks because I'm running into quite a few. I've been reviewing a lot. That is a service I offer. And I'm seeing a trend. Some of us still put together these. <laughs> you know, the, the, the font is 12 point, so we can fit everything in. Thing is, you have to squint. And the reality is these presentations are usually given during a time of day when people are hungry, you opted for cheese cubes and cauliflower. And so not only are they not incentivized to read this paragraph you've put on your slide, but halfway in, they're going to check their world of whatever account to see if their village has burned down and you will have lost them. Now I'm not saying this is perfect, but this is another slide on oh, forget Please don't mind the pink paper ran out of white. It's fine. But this is a slide that I put together for a presentation recently to Match Challenge. Not saying it's perfect, but look how much quicker it is to glean basically the topic that I'm going to be talking about. And because you've gleaned it so much quicker, how much more likely are you to look back at me and pay attention and not be going through your Tinder account? The thing is, I found that most people who tend to put together the presentations that look like this are some of the most interesting people in the room. Almost always, they've traveled the world, they're solving big issues, and they're working with important people. But they consistently struggle with presenting what they do. Why? Because I believe because they've forgotten that theirs is an epic tale that has to be told as a story, which means when you're standing in front of colleagues, clients, investors, whomever, you need to be a storyteller like the ones who sat around the fires so long ago. You have to be animated and, and really be using tried and true storytelling techniques to really fill out and, and guide your audience. You can't do that when you're reading off of this. So tell this story about your clients, their struggles, the story of your vision, and do it in a way that is engaging, which means very little words and graphics. Video is great if you know it'll work. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to be schnazzy and do that, and the video didn't work, and I did not look schnazzy. So, Make sure you know the technology. And then do it in a way for the accounts that accounts for your audience. Um, which means your presentation decks, when you put them together, should differ depending on who your audience is. If you're pitching to investors for the love of all that is good and Nutella covered, make sure that you're relating everything that you're talking about back to the business. Relate your mission and your passion and all the amazing things you're doing Back to the business. How does this all translate in terms of numbers and marketing and traction and the, the investment that they're going to end up making? If you're talking to potential clients, touch on their struggles and walk them through how you get them to a better place. What is that better place? I want to know because then I want to go to that better place with you. And make that place so visual and the trek there so clear that they can't help but jump from their seats and say, sign me up. But don't. Do not try to do this with your entire college dissertation on your slides. Um, I have a webinar where I talk about communicating your impact uh, in my new entrepreneur or angel entrepreneur community. It's free to join. I just put it up. I'm super excited. And there you're going to get all kinds of cool resources and opportunities to ask myself questions in my community. But I just wanted to, to talk about this because I see so many people doing amazing things and putting pitch decks together that make folks want to tear their hair out. So storytelling. Make sure you tell your story. Animate it. Use traditional storytelling techniques. Framing it. Who's your protagonist? What's the journey? all these other different things to really get your audience engaged and make sure that they want to be a part of it. That'll be it for me. You guys have a good one. Bye.